Today I'm going to show you how you can deploy a Remix application out into Fly, including using your own domain name and setting up an SSL certificate. Okay, so what I have here is a very basic Remix application that has essentially just been created from the default MPX create Remix command. And then I've customized the main H1 here. So it says, welcome to Remix to do on fly instead of just welcome to Remix. In fact, if I open up the browser, this is what it looks like running in localhost. So you can see there's not a whole lot that's really changed from the default template. I just wanted to make a small change so we can see this thing get deployed out into fly successfully. So I'm gonna use the built-in terminal for VS Code, but you're welcome to use any terminal application you want. But I'm going to stop the running process, and then in order to get this application deployed to Fly, since I have a Fly account already and the Fly CLI installed, I can type in Fly Launch and hit Enter. Now this is going to automatically scan the repository and detect the type of application or the type of code that's being uh, set up here. You can see right on this line, it says detected a Remix application. And then based on what it detects, it's going to select a series of pre-configured items here for you, such as the organization that's selected if you're logged into uh, multiple accounts using the Fly CLI. It's going to give the application a name, select a region, and then select the uh, power of app that this is going to be run in. And then since I'm not using a, any kind of database or storage of any kind, these are all turned off. Now you can hit Y here in order to tweak these settings, but I'm okay with the defaults for now since this is just a very basic application. So I'll type N and then hit Enter. And then we're going to wait here for just a few minutes while the Fly CLI creates a Docker file for us and starts setting up all the necessary bits on Fly's end to deploy this container image out into the Fly infrastructure. Once your application is deployed, you're going to get a message down below stating visit your newly deployed app at whatever the URL is. So if I open this link here, in the browser, you can see I'm on remix to do dot remix dash to do dash on dash fly dot fly dot dev. And then my application is running up inside of flies infrastructure. Now that the app is up and running in fly. We can go ahead and start the process of configuring the certificates going to be used, which will by default show us the DNS records. We need to add to our registrar to prove that we own the domain name as well as point that domain back into fly. So I'm going to type in fly certs add and then i'm going to type in the domain name that i have registered which is remix to do on fly dot site i know extremely creative but it works so we're going to go ahead and hit enter there and then i'm provided a couple of records here and these will need to be configured inside of the dns registrar so we need to have an a record which basically points the domain name to an ip address of 66.241.124.103 and then a quad a record which is an ipv6 record that points to an ipv6 address that essentially just proves that we indeed own this domain name so i'm going to start by copying off this ip address here the one starting with 66. And I'm using Namecheap as my registrar. In fact, I've been using Namecheap since 2012 and have been very happy with their services. I'm gonna leave an affiliate link in the description below if you're interested in signing up. But if you're not using Namecheap, you can use any registrar that you'd prefer. Just know that the instructions are gonna be a little bit different, but the basic concepts are gonna be the same. So I'm gonna to go to Advanced DNS inside of Namecheap, and I'm going to delete any of the existing records that are here since this domain is newly registered. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Add New Record. We're gonna add a type of A record, the host is going to be the at sign, which basically means the top level domain name. And then I'm going to paste in the IP address that was provided from the Fly CLI. I'll go ahead and click this little checkbox over here to save the record. And then we're going to add one more record, this quad A record. I'm going to copy this off from the CLI as well. And then let's go back and paste it inside of the IPv6 value here. And then we will add an at sign again for the host. I'll click save. And now the configuration of my DNS is complete. Now note that the process of DNS propagating sometimes takes a while. So now's a good time to step away and get a cup of coffee and then just wait a little bit to come back and check up on the next part. But if you're impatient like me, there's actually a command we're gonna to use to check to see if the both the DNS has propagated and we have proved our ownership of the domain as well as make sure the certificate was issued correctly. So I will type in fly certs check and then remix to do on fly dot site, which is the domain name. I'll hit enter. Okay, so here it says the certificate for our domain has not yet been issued. So we're gonna have to go ahead and be a little bit more patient and check back in a few minutes. Okay, so after waiting another minute, I ran the command again, and I can now see the certificate for Remix on Fly, Remix Studio on Fly dot site has been issued. That means if I open my browser again, I can go to Remix 
to do on fly.site and hit enter. And now I can actually access my application using my own domain name that is completely secure using HTTPS. In fact, if I open up my sidebar and click the link here, simply typing in remix to do on fly.site will actually redirect me to use the HTTPS version of the website.